couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another Full Finger Style Arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, because so many of you have asked so nicely, I'm gonna teach you the Pokemon theme for acoustic finger style guitar. I arranged it especially for you and I think you're gonna love it. So first I'm gonna play it for you as always so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down with tabs right here on the screen, lick by lick, chord by chord. I'm gonna show you exactly how to play this, but first it goes like this, enjoy. So put A minor on and play it eight times. Okay? You have two options for uh, the expression of this chord. You can play the bass just once and let it ring throughout. And this creates a sort of a continuous sound, a synthesizer sort of sound. Or you can get a dramatic effect by playing the whole chord, bass included, eight times. And get the ta 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 sound. Okay, a more uh, heavy metal sound. Okay, instead of just a continuous da 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 da, you have a staccato da 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 da. So both of them work. Just choose whichever sounds good to you. Or okay, with the bass included. Then you do the same thing with G, but instead of eight times, you play it five times. And the three um, eight notes that we have left are these. Okay which is 0, 3 on the 6th string, okay, and then the A bass again, okay, the 5th string, for the beginning of the verse. Okay, and you put A minor back on and play it 4 times. This time you can play the chord and the E string 3 more times, or the chord 4 more times. Okay, and then E string again, then G with 3, 0 on the 2nd string, and then the third string, open. So it's this, A minor, G. And then you do this, okay? Open third string, hammer on two on the fourth string. Okay, it's called a hammer on out of nowhere. Okay, because you're hammering on a different string than the one you pick. Okay, and then A minor again. And then two more chords or two more E strings. Again, your choice of expression. And it sounds like this. Or you can do this. Okay, this is another option. Instead of this, you can do okay, five pull off to two on the fourth, and then the A string. Okay, it's the same. Uh, the same uh, line, same lick, different expression. I just want to give you options. I give you the basics of my arrangement. You take it and make it yours. That's how it works here on Lick and Riff. Um, so uh, we had this. Okay. Then you have three, one on the second string. Then G again with three on the second string. So you have. Okay, or three E strings, actually. And it doesn't really matter how many E strings you, uh, you play. This is an arrangement, an instrumental version. You don't really have to stick to the lyrics verbatim. Um, 
okay? A minor G again. Then immediately you play F, C, F, F. Okay, and I strum them. Okay, because it gives the dramatic effect again. So, um... Okay, and then... One on the E string, five times. Okay, with F. Okay, and the chord still rings. Then you have C. Two E strings, and then... Three pull off to one on the second string. So it's... Okay? And then you can play one on the second string again. Then C with the E string twice again. Three one on the second string. This time you don't pull off, you play both. And then E. Okay? The E string, the open E string is your melody again. Okay? It's the lyric. Hello there, I have to cut in and interrupt with this lesson because I know that some of you would say, hey, there should be a D chord there, but if you try adding it to the arrangement, you'd get a D7, and that's not the right harmony there, and I tried, believe me, I tried to add that D chord between the C and the E to create the original harmony of C, D, E, but the D actually ruined it. It sounded completely weird because it turned into a D7, and D7 wants to go to G and not to E, and it created a really disharmonic harmony um, and it kind of threw off the whole song. So uh, yeah, I know it should be a D chord there between the C and the E, but this is the arrangement. I believe you can trust me that I know what I'm doing. So uh, instead of leaving a comment, hey, you forgot a chord, just know that it's intentional. Now go on with the lesson. So um, that's the verse. Then you repeat the verse entirely. A minor, G, A minor, G, F, C, F, F, C, C, E, okay? And then you have this, 0, 3 on the E string, and then this F, okay? It's based on the D shape up to the 5th fret. And you do it like this uh, because it's a more economic way and easier to put on instead of this, okay? So, uh, pinky on five on the E string and then five and three on strings three and four, okay? And that's what you pick. You don't pick the second string, okay? Five, five, three on strings one, three, four. Then, Right? Zero, zero, three, five on the E string, and you can play the chord anywhere you want inside that line. Okay, you can add the chord to the whole line, or just highlight it. Um, then you have C, okay, with three zero on the E string, and then one on the second string, or three pull off to one. Okay, or and then A bass again, okay, and then you put five on the first, second, and third strings. Okay, this is out of the A minor bar shape. So, okay, you play the A bass, then okay, five, five on the E string or the whole set of strings. Okay, the whole chord twice, five, five, seven, eight on the E string. And then it's seven on the E string again with the open second and third strings, okay? For a G chord. You can play the bass right away, okay? Or you can play this, then play the bass, three on the sixth string, okay? Makes very little difference, okay? Just makes it staccato or, okay, legato, keeping the seven ringing. Uh, doesn't really make much of a difference because immediately you need 5-3 on the E string, so... Okay? And again, you can harmonize with the chord wherever you like. It's open strings anyway. Uh, strings 2 and 3. So, 7-8-7, seven, seven, G bass, 5-3. Then you do this again. Okay? Same first line, 0-3 and then F, and then 
0035. You can again play the chord, this, um, the F5 here on 3 and 5 and strings 4 and 3, wherever you like. And then, okay, this time you play the C chord um, with 3 0 and then 3 pull off to 1 on the second string. So the first time around you can play 3 0 and then 1, and the second time around 3 0 and then 3 pull off to 1, just for variation purposes. And then you have okay, the end of the verse which is C with two E strings, and then three one on the second string, then E. It's the end of the verse, exactly the same line. And then you repeat the first half of the chorus, F, C, A minor, and then G. Then you have this. Okay, this is F and C, but with a C and G chord voicing. Okay, C and G. Okay, so you have... Okay, so you get a really nice piano sort of uh, voicing. So you put a C shape on uh, 6, 7, and 8 on strings 2, 4, and 5. Okay, and then you play the chord, and then your pinky on 8 three times on the E string. Then you do this, okay? your first finger on 5 on the 2nd string and 3rd finger on 8 on the 6th string. You play these two with the open 3rd string, okay? and then the pinky again on 8 on the E string twice. So, okay? Then you play this chord twice, and then you do this. Okay? And it's the sixth string E with eight and uh, eight and six on strings one and two, and you slide them one fret down to seven and five. Okay, so then you have okay, it's zero zero three five five on the E string into F again. Okay, same F you started with, and then. Two open E strings, then I put my thumb on three on the sixth string for G because I do okay, three five on the E string. Okay, you can do the pinky. Why? Um, you don't need to. It's not a stretch. And you can play strings two and three, of course, with it. And then this. It's A minor again. It's um, uh, eight on the E string, then A, and then five. You can already prepare the half bar. Then it's 5 8 on the second string, and then A minor. 5 5 5, and the open fifth string. So fives all around, actually. And there you have it the Pokemon theme for acoustic finger style guitar. Before you go download the tab from the website, remember to click subscribe and join the Lick and Riff community if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons already waiting for you here, and I upload a new one every few days. In the description below, you'll find the link to the tabs in the website, of course, the Lick and Riff website, lickandriff.com. And uh, it's for free. Everything here is for free. This lesson, all the lessons, all the tabs, everything is for free. But if you want to give something back anyway, there is a large blue donation button right above the tabs, and it all goes back to making the lessons for your guitar education. So I thank you very much for um, any donation you choose to make. I thank you in advance for your generosity, and it'll come back to you in the form of more lessons always free of course so uh thanks for watching you go have fun with this let me know how it goes and i'll see you in the next lesson bye for now thanks for watching